hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the tutorials which is the green type so traditional green and uh, the green which is really modern type green and uh, that is for you guys so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first drag this layer and drop in this plus sign and you're getting the new copy of this layer and we work with this layer going to the filter and camera filter so this camera filter is another plugins of the photoshop if you are don't getting this one in your photoshop please check out my video description for the download link of these plugins and after that this is similar to the lightroom that means the photoshop lightroom or lightroom classic whatever it is and from here you're getting three dots which is the settings go to the load settings options and then I made a preset for you guys which is the green type green moody or green and load it up so you are getting the instant change of this that means you are getting the change by applying is preset okay now let's see what is the settings and this one is the main factor to make this tutorial and it will help you out to make the settings or learn the settings how to change or how to manage the color for these type of things so here the temperature plus 10 and the tint is 0 exposure the exposure 0.25 that's why you're getting the little bit exposure up and the contrast plus 33 which is uh, the uh, contrast if you make it down it won't give you the proper feel or the proper ambient or strongness for these effects and here the highlight a little bit down just because of already the face is highlighted if you need you can make it more dehighlighted it will make sense and it will be more like prominent color of that okay after that the shadows here the shadow plus 20 if you want you can use more shadow but i won't suggest to give more shadow over there here the texture minus one and the clarity minus two and here the vibrance minus 27 that's why you are getting this type of dim type green and here the saturation minus two as well so now basic is done going to the curves i didn't use the curve if you want you can use curve like that it will be a little bit moody it will help you out the input value one and output value like 12 here the input value one uh, if you go and this portion you are getting the input value one one four and output value one zero six and in this point you are getting the input value 255 and output value 253 that's good and here the detailing options you are getting no value over there so if you want you can use the noise reduction it will make your photograph more smooth if you want but i do like to use the grain in this photo after that the color mixing here three things the hue saturation luminance hue which color will be defines with that saturation the strong or the percentage of the color and the luminance the intensity of the color you can use the intensity up and down if you need here the hue portion if i go to the orange color plus 30 and uh, that's why you're getting the little bit warmy value and tone the green plus 7 and aqua minus 6 saturation that is plus 46 and the green plus 44 that is the percentage how many percentage of color you are using over there it defines with this value plus 28 for the aqua and luminance portion red minus 7 and the green minus plus 22 and the aqua plus 79 that's good and going to the gradient or color grading options color grading the basic thing of the color grading is that you are getting three colors in a shadow mid-tone and highlight that three things is the color grading and here some color wheels and color palettes and color sliders which will help you out to pick the color hue is the color which color will be i already said that and here the value how many value you are giving it define the color you are getting over there so at first the shadow here i am using the 299 the color value and the saturation that means the percentage of that color that is 16 and here the mid tones i use the 197 the color which is um, color code and the hue and the saturation 12 and here you are getting the hue 175 and the saturation 15 sometimes you won't get the slider over here in that case just click the triangle you are getting the slider downside of that okay now color grading done 
the optics i didn't use the any value geometry and effects i didn't use the effects now going to the calibration so after using the color mixing and the color gradient or color uh, like uh, grading you are getting the three things which is the calibration which is really important for the primary colors the red primary green and blue primary you are getting over here and the same things hue and saturation which is the color or which color will be it defines with the hue we had the red primary zero and zero the value and the hue of the green primary plus 47 and the saturation zero and the blue primary plus 17 and saturation eight that's all for these effects and let's see the before and after instant change over there and you can save this preset if you want just because of i going to this menu and going to the save settings and giving the name going to the save options giving the name green 2 and saving this out in that relevant folder you can save it in your own folder and don't worry about that i will provide you that download link that means the xmp file download link in every description so how to use that uh, download or that xmp file in your photographs suppose you have a photo which is uh, the green type color suppose i have this type of photo i want to apply this preset in this photo press ctrl or command j making another copy of this layer going to the filter from here and camera filter after using that going to the load settings options from here i made a preset which is the green 2 given the name earlier and you are getting the color like that and hit ok so before and after and here before and after before after you are getting over there so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i'm a7 signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well Bye bye